not many cooks are fluting mushrooms or making radish roses, which are tasks from traditional French cooking that were always handled with a bird's beak paring knife, like this. A bird's beak knife has a gently curved cutting edge and a fairly short blade. There are, however, some tasks for which these knives are really well suited for home cooks still. So we tested this lineup of eight bird's beak knives. The price range was about $15 to $85. And we tested them alongside our favorite standard pairing knife, which is this one from Victorinox. We had a squad of testers that had different sized hands with different dominance, and everyone used all the knives to hull and quarter strawberries, to core and peel tomatoes, to peel and section lemons, and to cut the eyes out of fresh peeled pineapple. And I'll tell you, right off the bat, testers recognized that these bird's beak paring knives hugged rounded and irregularly shaped items a little more closely than a standard paring knife, which they really liked. Testers who had larger hands, however, found that the shorter blades, which were two to two and a half inches, were a little too small for them, whereas the entire squad of testers thought that the larger blades, which were two and a half to three inches, were comfortable. So everyone liked the larger blades. Another thing you want to pay attention to with the blade is that it is relatively narrow, both from the tip to the spine and the tip of the cutting edge. And that allows you to get in really close to, say, the core of a tomato, like this. And you're not wasting much flesh because you're able to make really precise cuts. This also does a great job at peeling tomatoes. Again, that curved cutting edge really hugs the shape of the tomato. The fine point is terrific for cutting the eyes out of fresh peeled pineapple. There we go. One thing you want to pay attention to is how sharp the knife is from the factory because these curved blades are really hard to sharpen at home and all of our knives were not equal in terms of sharpness. We also paid attention to the handles. Handles of about a medium length, which was three and a half to four inches and a medium circumference were the most comfortable for the widest range of testers. So if you do a lot of precision work or detail work with your paring knife, we actually think that a bird's beak pair makes a nice addition to your knife collection. And this is the winner. This is the Mac paring knife, bird's beak, two and a half inches. It's 30 bucks. It was razor sharp. It has a nice narrow blade with a very fine tip. And a lot of testers commented that this knife made their pairing tasks feel effortless. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>